we can do. All right, so we've got this A36 steel. Let's give it a G of 75 MPA. It has a diameter of 50 millimeters, subjected to distributed and concentrated loading shown. Determine the absolute maximum shear stress in the shaft and angle of twist uh, from A to B. Okay, so the maximum shear stress, tau is TR over J. So where will the maximum shear stress occur? Well, it will occur at the outside edge, but where, you know, which T, what torque, where is the maximum torque for this problem? We could cut it a few different times. I kind of skipped this uh, section. It's not in section CB. Do you see when you have something that's just hanging out there with no twisting, no forces right here, if we cut it there, if we throw that away and say, what internal torque do I need to counteract, uh, that would be zero. There's no torque inside section um, C to B. <clears throat> Inside these sections, I would need to think about that distributed load, which is kind of a weird units there. Of it's 200 newtons, or 200 newton meters per meter. 200 newton meters per meter. Um, I could, I apologize, I've kind of skipped a little bit here. I could cut it a number of different times let, let me I want to calculate what's happening at the wall I want to calculate what's happening at the wall uh, I think that will be helpful to visualize and to see uh, what's happening right here all right I've got a concentrated 250 newton meter torque right there and then I've got a distributed it's 200 newton meters per meter if I had a whole meter's worth of it It'd be 200 newton meters. This is how I'm thinking. If I have a whole meter's worth of that distributed load, then it would be equivalent to 200 newton meters. I only have 0.5. So this is really a total of 100, right? I can, I can kind of replace it for just a second. I can replace it with, all right, let's say I have 100 going that way. I've got 250 going this way. Uh, what do I need at the wall from statics to sum the moments equal to zero? Uh, I, I would need 150 at the wall. All right, so what I've really got is I've got 150, and then I have this distributed load, and then I've got 250 pushing it back. All right, I've got 150 at the wall going that way. And then I, then I start having this distributed load that's going the same direction as the 150. So imagine if I was cutting it here, it'd be 150 plus a little bit of distributed load. You know, I, I, would need, I would need a positive, I don't know, maybe 175. If, if I cut it a little bit further, I would need a positive 200. If I cut a little bit further, um, eventually I would get to this point right before the 250 newton meter uh, concentrated load. And I would say, okay, I need an internal torque of, it's got to counteract that 150 and it's got to counteract this, this whole 100 and just before. So just to the left of 250 Newton meter moment, I would have an internal torque. I might even draw this. We've got 150 at the wall. I've got this full 200 newton meters per meter, so I've got 100 right here. So right before I get to that 250, I'm going to have a 250, a torque of 250 newton meters, and, and that's the maximum. Then, then it goes to zero. Anywhere else, it would be less than 250. I didn't do that very well, but 
we got to and there you got to be able to kind of cut it kind of know the torques in a lot of different places um if i ask for hey what's a maximum stress anywhere say okay well does it occur in this section does it occur in this section does it occur in this section figure out where the maximum anyway the maximum internal torque is 250 it didn't ask for the maximum torque it asked for the maximum stress so tau max tr over j 250 newton meters on r a radius of 25 millimeters a j pi, pi by two pi by two r to the fourth and then i change meters to millimeters a thousand right there Ten point two MPA. Ten point two MPA. And it might be helpful to kind of compare that and just make sure does that get into the yielding region? Because my next step, calculating the angle of twist, is, is only true for the elastic region. But I think I should test it out. But that's that's less than the yield stress. So we are in the elastic region. All right, so that was part A. That is the absolute maximum stress. Where does it occur? It occurs on the outside edge, right about where that 250 newton meter torque is applied. Okay, now let's calculate the angle of twist. This will be a, a fun one. All right, let's calculate the angle of twist from A to B. So the angle of twist is TL over GJ, but I need to break it up into different sections. You know, I need to kind of break it up anytime something changes. Break it up into di different sections. D it's kind of hard for me to not visualize, but to remember that there is no angle of twist between C to B. Whatever it got twisted to at C, then C to B, all of it is at that new orientation. You know, between A and C, if it twists about three degrees, and I say degrees, we should be in radians, but between A and C, if it twists about three degrees, then from C to B, it is still at the same uh, deformation that C is. B is at the same deformation that C is. Because there's no, and you, you could just put a torque of zero inside BC and add up TL over GJ, but if your T is zero, then there's, there's no contribution from section C to B. But from section A to C, let us calculate that angle of twist. When you have a distributed load, then this internal torque, you know, what is the torque right here? Well, it's about 170. What's the torque right here? About 190, 200, 210. When it's changing like that, we can't just do TL over GJ. We have to do the integral of T over GJ from as X goes from zero to L. All right, the integral of TL over GJ as X goes from zero to L. Is the G changing? Is the J changing? We can factor those out. And just do the integral of t dx. All right. So the hard part, we have to find an equation for t. We've got to write an equation for t. And like I said, it's changing. And it, it helps me. There's a number of ways, but it helps me to just kind of ask myself, okay, what if I go a little bit away from the wall? What is it? 160. If we want to go a little bit more away from the wall, what is it? It's 170. A little bit more. And more and more of that distributed load. And it keeps on making my internal torque have to increase. All right. So if our X is right here and we want to write what is the torque inside this section? Torque inside this section written in terms of x 
how about this? Maybe I should just write it. Maybe we could figure it out. Uh, very, very close to the wall, the internal torque would be 150. But then for every X I go, I need to add more and more. It adds more and more to that internal torque. Do you see why 100 plus 200 or 150 plus 200x would be an equation for the torque inside that section? So you, you, you take the torque at the beginning of the distributed load, the torque before I hit that distributed load would be 150, and then a distributed load is linear, right? A distributed load would be linear magnitude as it's going to x if for some reason you had a distributed load that wasn't uniform you know if it if it increased if the distributed load increased then it might be something like you know 200x squared but for a uniform distributed load it, it might look something like this you take what it starts with before you get to it and then ask yourself, how is that distributed load increasing or decreasing my internal torque? Okay, so now we can do angle of twist is 1 over GJ, 1 over G, 75,000 MPA, J pi by 2, uh, R, to the fourth integral man do my, my units work out not exactly uh 150 plus 200 x so i've got to take the integral of that with respect to dx as x goes from zero to 0.5 all right and because this is in newton meters I'm going to need a 1,000 somewhere right here. I apologize. I don't have the full solution right here. But my, my units wouldn't work out. I'm just debating whether I need to multiply 1,000 times those or if I can factor it out and multiply it afterwards. I think we could factor it out and multiply it afterwards. Okay. So, but, but this would be, what is this integral? 150x, 200x squared over 2 as x goes from 0 to 0.5 times, you know, that, that number, those numbers right there. 75,000 pi by 2 r to the fourth. Okay. I actually do have the final answer. I do have the final answer. The angle of twist, 0 0.00217 radians.